Hi everybody, in this video I want to share with you the simplest way to add your Zoom room to your Canvas shell. I do have another video that I recorded on this back in March, um, but I felt like with some issues that folks are experiencing this week, I'm recording this in week one of fall 2020, um, I'd record this again with some extra information that might help you. Also, feel free to pause this video as you're watching it if you're following along with these steps. I know I can talk kind of fast sometimes in my videos, um, so I have no problem with you pausing and following along that way. I hope that you know that that's perfectly fine to do that. Um, so let's be begin by making sure that we have the right kind of Zoom account. When you log in to conferzoom.org, you should be finding I just logged in. You should be finding over in the top right corner that your account says licensed. That's going to give you more than 45 minutes. If it says basic, it means that you're going to be cut off at 45 minutes. So if it says basic, you're going to need to get your account upgraded to be a licensed account. And the way that you do that is through the support folks at see at conferzoom.org. So it's conferzoom.org and then when you click on their support, so I'll go here, click on their support, these are the folks that can migrate your account from a basic to a license. So you can email them from your district email and they can help you get a licensed account. Okay, once you get your licensed account, you're gonna look at your profile and in that profile, you're gonna see a personal meeting ID. That personal meeting ID is like your Zoom office is persistent, so it won't change. You'll always have access to that space without having to pre-schedule time in that space. So as long as you and your students are in that URL at the same time, you'll be in the same Zoom session. That's why it makes it really easy to use this one for um, to get your students um, in your Zoom sessions. So now I, I just copied that. Let me do that again. I went show. I selected this and I did control C. You can also do this and do copy, right? Make sure you're not getting anything extra after the end of that URL. Okay, now that is like my Zoom office, right? Like I say, I don't have to schedule it. I'm just going to link to that URL from my Canvas course. So inside of Canvas, I can decide where it makes sense to put this and that's going to be different for different classes depending on how you have your course set up. For me, I have a home page and I've got places on my home page where it makes sense for me to link this. I'm going to edit my home page and I'm going to ba -ba 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 -ba, link this join us for class on Monday, Wednesday at 9.30, the place where they're joining is in that URL that we were just looking at. So I highlighted it, I clicked on this link to URL button, and I'm going to paste, control V, command V, or right click paste and hit insert link. That makes this a hyperlink. Guess what, it's the same space for meet me in office hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays from two to three. So I'm going to highlight that space, link to URL, paste, insert link, and there. So now I hit save. My home page is updated. If I click on my Zoom link that I just created, you can see it's linking to my Zoom ID. You're going to see my webcam here in a second because I'm joining my Zoom meeting. So that appears to have worked just fine. You want to check that link and make sure that it does connect. Fine. Okay, next, what I want to do is, I can check this one too, right? Next, what I want to do is check my course menu. So if you go into settings, you're going to see a couple options for Zoom, right? Settings, navigation tab, you're going to say, well, Katie, I've already got a link to Zoom up here, and I've already got this other link to Zoom. I'm not sure what these are. So if you're going with my simple route, you're going to disable both of these and you're going to manually create a link in your Zoom, in your um, Canvas course to your personal meeting ID. Now I know some of you are using the Confer Zoom LTI because that comes with some additional functionality and you can schedule your Zoom sessions right here in Canvas. If that's already working for you and you have a workflow that is successful and students are getting into your courses, then cool. I would say 
you're probably you shouldn't be watching this video because it's already working for you so don't worry about it but if you're looking for Katie's simple approach that doesn't use the confer zoom LTI then I would recommend pulling both these zoom links that you find um, by default in this display I would recommend disabling pulling both those down to this bottom list and then we're going to hit save so we know that that sticks and then we're going to go over to apps because in order to add a link to the menu we have to go to this apps place and we're going to go to the redirect app and then redirect tool is here I'm going to click on that and I'm going to say add app this is the part where you can pause it if I'm going too fast, don't forget. Here you can name your link anything you want. So I'm going to say Katie's Zoom Room. Maybe you say join us for class or maybe it says Monday, Wednesday at 9.30. I don't know. Whatever you want the link to say over here. Um, I would say something about Zoom so that they see it as the Zoom link, right? And then you're going to delete what's already here because you don't want that part repeated. And you're going to paste the Zoom link that you already have on your clipboard you're going to paste it in there so that you that's the URL that this text is going to go to and then we want to do force open in new tab that's fine it's an external link so it'll open in a new tab and show in course navigation that's what's going to put it on your menu over here sorry if you hear my kids cracking up in the background <laughs> Um, so those two check boxes are checked. Force open in a new tab and show in course navigation. Okay, add app. So now you say, Katie, I just did that and I don't see anything over in the menu. Right. This part's confusing because you don't see this until you hit refresh in your browser. So hit refresh in your browser and then at the very bottom of all of the hidden links you will see the link that you just now created. There it is for me, Katie's Zoom Room. I don't want it at the bottom. I'm going to pull it up towards in the middle so I go back to our navigation tab and I'm going to pull it up in the middle of my menu and now don't forget to hit save again. That's a really easy save button to miss. Now we're going to go back to home and I can check all of the stuff on student view. So I click over to student view and I want to make sure that okay we still have the link here we still have the link here notice as I hover my mouse at the very bottom left corner of the screen I'm looking at my meeting ID it says 619-361-1022 that's my personal meeting ID so it's just a nice way to double check that these are going to the right place and I'm gonna click on this Katie's zoom room it's gonna open in a new tab fine I'm gonna hit click on this and looks like we're good to go. It's opening up Zoom. We're going to see my webcam again. Hip hip hooray. There we are. And meeting for all. Okay, so that is a very quick, let me leave student view, um, summary of simple Zoom inside of Canvas. Like I said, some of you might be doing it the other way using the Confer Zoom LTI, which allows you to schedule meetings in here. If you've got something that's working for you, fine, stick with that. Um, but if you, it's not working for you yet and you're looking for the simplest way to connect these two, it really is grabbing your um, personal meeting ID from Zoom, copying that, and then really pasting it however you want into your Canvas account. I have shown you on your homepage and in your course menu. Okay, thank you so much for watching.